Hello everyone, I'm Rose and um, I'm your support for this Friday. This week we are talking about um, having mentors or doing self-talk. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a few times already and I caught myself on brabbling a lot so I will try to just be up to the point. Um, anyway, um, mentors. Um, it's very hard to find the right mentor. Uh, when I started out first, um, I was trying to find a mentor, but I couldn't find him or her. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of people, and most of the time it was like, he has a view on that, and I have another view on that point. And, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm very... <laughs> okay, um, so it's very hard, because I'm an eclectic Wiccan, and I believe in a lot of stuff from other things too and to find that person who completely fits with your thoughts is hard and um, yeah so um, if you find that person who you have a really big connection with and who you um, believe in everything he says then just go for it and um, that would be very awesome if you find that person um, but for me, that didn't work. Um, I did a lot of self-taught um, from a lot of books. I will show them at the end of the video. I have them here next to me. Um, uh, I'm checking my notes, what I wanted to say. Um, oh, also, um, if you are going for a mentor before you do that, or even before you uh, are going to do self-study, you have to think about what you believe. Like, um, for example, karma. How do you see karma? Um, how do you see the deity deities, like the god and the goddess and um, reincarnation and all those things? Like the main topics, you should write them down and be like, how do I see it? And how would my mentor see it? And if you find the right connection, go for it. I'm saying that a lot of times. <laughs> um, also, um, if you have a mentor and um, he just uh, tells you stuff, uh, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't go with it because you have to practice still. If you don't practice, you won't have the experience. And a mentor that doesn't allow you to experience all those things for yourself is not a good mentor. If you find a good mentor, he will allow you to experience everything yourself and will give you the information. Um, if a mentor says don't do that or don't do this or whatever, um, make sure to think for yourself and um, just, it, it's, in the beginning it's hard to know what's right and wrong, but write down everything. Like if you think hurting people is good, um, Think again <laughs> and stuff like that. It's very hard to explain. I've been trying a lot, but um, yeah, just know your stuff. <laughs> and um, books are very helpful with that. Um, also, about a mentor, um, his opinions can be other, other than you, but if you do have that connection, but the opinion is uh, like, different um, you can also have like a very good discussion like adult people like why do you think that I think like that and stuff and you can talk about it and maybe you can evolve in that way just to know you how to think for yourself and talk about it um, yeah uh, this video uh, sucks <laughs> I'm very bad at explaining things um, so, um, just to the point, um, for me, self-study was the best, but for other people, it can be other, like, otherwise. Um, if you find, find a mentor, go for it. Um, anyway, I will show the books that I uh, use for my self-study, and I will also um, post them below, so you can just see the list of books. Um, also, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Whatever you want to ask me, um, 
I don't want to be a mentor, but I will always be prepared to help people. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, my first book was this one, The Witch's Bible, from Janet and Stuart Farrer, I think. Um, I have a little story about that book. Uh, I bought it when I was 13 or 14. I think it's my very first book. And I wasn't so good at English. I'm still not great, but I was worse that back then. And, um, the pictures in that book are very like dark and I, I it made me scared. And, um, I didn't completely read that book because of that reason. But I will one of um, these weeks when I have time, I'm thinking about rereading this book because I've seen a lot of uh, pagans, Wiccans, witches uh, on Instagram using that book. So I'm curious why they think it's a good book when I had that dark feeling about it. Um, then I started with this book. It's uh, a guide for the solitary practitioner from Scott Cunningham. And this book really opened my world. It's helped me a lot. His view on things are almost the same as how I see the things. And um, yeah, he gives a lot of information and very good information. And he also says, if it doesn't feel right, don't follow what I say. And that's a good thing. If you don't have to be, you don't want to have a mentor who says you have to do this. And if you don't believe it, you're blah, blah, blah and stuff. That's not a good mentor. A mentor should let you experience and think for yourself. Um, after that book, I had this book, The Further Guide for a Solitary Practitioner. <laughs> um, this is also a very good book, um, also from Scott Cunningham. And then I had this one. It's from The Elements. Uh, I think it's a very good book, but the reason why I bought that book was to uh, get back to my basics about Elements. And if you're looking for basics, then that's not the right book. Um, because in my opinion, that book is for when you are more experienced with the element to let yourself evolve into that. Because it gives a lot of rituals and stuff. And if you don't know your basics, I wouldn't start with that one. Um, then I have two other books who really helped me for my rituals. The Inner Temple of Witchcraft. Um, it helps a lot with med meditation, um, how to, yeah, it's just like your inner self, how to involve with that, and just with your energy work and all that. Um, this is another one that I bought. I didn't start with it yet. It's the Outer Temple of Witchcraft. Um, it's from the same person, like the author, writer. Anyway, um, I, I, I don't know what to say about that one but i like the first one so i'll probably like the second one too um this one is a very very good book it's wicca a year and a day um the only thing that i uh i have two things to say about that book um the first thing is if you are low on budget i wouldn't um t take that book because uh, each month they give a list with all the supplies you need, like herbs, oils, uh, tools and stuff. And if you don't have the money, it can be very, very expensive. Um, also, uh, you have like day one, two, three, and you have to study every day. Even if you don't have time, you have to do it. And um, it's like around day, I think, day 60 or something. They suddenly start with the first Sabbath and then the second Sabbath and so on. And they start with the Wheel of the Year. But um, studying about Yule in the springtime doesn't make sense. For me, it doesn't. So um, what I did was I changed all the days so that I would have my lessons about Samhain on Samhain and so on. So um, changing stuff from books is okay. <laughs> um, anyway... That were all the good books that I have. I have a few others, but I wouldn't um, recommend them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish this video. I'm sorry for the brabbling again. I tried. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys all next Friday. And blessed be.